conversation about the use of wood for energy, for heating our homes. Wood has gotten a bad rap, at least in my lifetime, for its supposed contribution to our polluted atmosphere. Laws have been placed to limit or completely remove people's ability to burn wood as a system for heating. What do we think about this? Uh, what do we know and understand about the emissions produced from the burning of wood? And how do we justify the use of forests for this predicament of keeping warm? Before we debate the issue of cutting down our trees for heating, we need to understand what it means to burn wood. The energy derived from burning wood and its byproducts, as opposed to the energy derived from fossil fuels, natural gas, coal, and oil and the impacts those have on our environment. Calculations must be made, but in all, the use of wood may win out in several ways. Energy use with issues of sustainability and the fact that it can be harvested from our land. We don't have to rely on foreign countries for this resource, and our money could be kept in our country to produce wood lots grown exclusively for the purpose of heating. A few facts about wood. Using wood as a fuel is almost carbon dioxide neutral since trees are absorbing CO2 during their growth. The same amount of carbon dioxide is emitted from trees whether they are burned for fuel or whether they are decomposing on the ground. Trees are renewable, fossil fuels are not. Again, trees are taking CO2 from out of the atmosphere with half their dry weight being absorbed carbon already. On the other hand, the burning of fossil fuels for energy is pumping million-year-old carbon dioxide from inside the Earth into the atmosphere, which scientists say is quickly and lethally changing the global climate. So I'm going to go speak with Tom of Fast Power, who's a professional alternative energy designer. Um, dedicated to efficient heating systems for buildings. I want to ask him a few questions about wood. Well, I want to talk more about the wood thing because I know that there's some states who are trying to get wood taken off the list as an item not to be used for heating their homes. Versus? Versus not burning wood and burning coal. Some people say burning wood is detrimental to the environment. They don't seem to be thinking about where their electricity is coming from. But it needs to be crop wood. Cutting down virgin forests is not what I'm referring to because the planet needs those for all sorts of other things. You know, and cutting down the rainforest, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that burning a tree that you grew to burn doesn't harm the environment one bit because every bit of what you burned uh -huh. was only taken from the atmosphere a few years ago by uh, by petroleum standards. Okay. Whereas the petroleum, the carbon was taken out of the atmosphere and sequestered deep in the ground millions of years ago and so the earth has adjusted in certain ways to account for this level of carbon. Right. Okay. So you burn a tree though, it only pulled that carbon out of the atmosphere in order to make the tree during its lifetime. You need a certain number of trees so that they can grow as I'm burning them. But if you can sustain that, it's there's nothing wrong with it. And also with things Do like... Do you think that is sustainable, though? I mean... Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or let's go beyond that. Is it regenerative? Is it regenerative that you can keep up? As long as there's not too many people. As long, uh, as, there, as, long as there's not... That's as another long as there's enough that goes into trees it. per person or per amount of energy that people in general are using and forest fires and what else. Right, it's, it's more of a complicated web than we think. It's not just one component, right. it's several. The, the, one of the things... So that, everything, lots of things would have to shift. One of the things you can say to people is, when you burn a tree, you release no more carbon into the atmosphere than if that tree died and rotted. Now, I'm not interested in making the argument for the total removal of fossil fuels as an energy source by replacing it with burning wood. I am interested in debating the choices our lawmakers have made in restricting the use of wood as a fuel option. Not everywhere, mind you, but in enough places that I believe it constitutes debate. Debate over what is and what is not sustainable why we don't place more restrictions on automobile emissions, 
but we do place these parameters upon the use of renewable energy resources should be up for debate. Also, there is debate within the topic of using wood as a fuel simply for the obvious reasons that not all wood is burned efficiently with inefficient fireplaces and inefficient stoves and um, unseasoned wood being burned and the potential hazard in terms of the air quality um, plus the possible misuse and mismanagement of forests that could lead to degradation. Like everything else, education is needed to facilitate the correct use of these natural resources for energy. And I think public policy steeped in proper information can go a long way in guiding us towards better and more efficient practices that are good for everyone. Right now, President Barack Obama's new head of the EPA is going to dictate how the agency will regulate carbon emissions and the other components of greenhouse gases. Now is the time to become clear about the fuels we choose for energy through raising our awareness, educating ourselves, and proposing these ideas to lawmakers who make the policy regarding our types of fuel consumption.